Welcome to Jake's Cable Drive in Cape Town, South Africa. In 2018, South Africa was ranked 8th in the world for average hours spent in peak traffic and Cape Town was the highest on the list of South African cities. Jake's Cable Drive connects national routes 1 and 2, which makes it one of the most important and busiest roads in Cape Town. The road has reached the end of its service life and is due for renewal. With an average of 50,000 vehicles on this road daily, disruptions of traffic will have a major economic impact so keeping it open during the day takes first priority. Conventional rehabilitation and replacement of pavement materials mean road lanes will have to stay closed for days, even weeks on end. BSM or bitumen stabilized material provides a unique solution to this difficult problem by allowing us to rehabilitate the road to a depth of 370 millimeters at night and having the road open to traffic before the morning rush hour. The existing road consists of 80 millimeters of asphalt, on varying layers of granular material, including a water-bound macadam layer. This pavement structure protects the underlying sand subgrade. The asphalt and the macadam layers will be removed separately by a process called selective milling. This will ensure that this high-quality reclaimed asphalt can be used in the future. Once the existing material has been removed to a depth of 370 mils, a 340mm bitumen stabilized layer will be constructed in two layers. Finally, 20 mm of the BSM will be milled off after trafficking and surfaced with 40 mm of asphalt. After evening peak traffic, the road is closed and milling of the asphalt and granular layers can begin. Using the Vertgen W200 milling machine, the asphalt layer is milled off separately and transported to stockpiles. This is known as reclaimed asphalt, or RA. This milled material can be recycled and used in the new road. The granular layers below are milled off in two separate layers to the remainder of the 370mm depth and transported to separate stockpiles for storage. These will be used in other parts of construction or on another construction project. Reclaimed asphalt or RA is stored at a central stockpile location where it is stabilized with foamed bitumen. A mixed design was carried out in a laboratory facility to determine the quantities of bitumen and the effective active filler. Lime was chosen as the active filler as it allows more flexibility in stockpiling BSM than cement. The optimum BSM mix was found to be reclaimed asphalt, stabilized with 2.1% foam bitumen and 1% lime. Material from the RA stockpile is loaded into the KMA feeding bucket and passes through the KMA. After adding the 2.1% foamed bitumen and 1% lime, the mixed material is transported via a conveyor belt and stockpiled in front of the KMA. Loaders take the material from the freshly mixed stockpile to storage stockpiles, where they are closed and kept moist for up to 5 days before being used in construction. Tap the link in the description for a detailed overview of the KMA. The central stockpile is located close to the Jake's Calvel project, which ensures efficient transportation from the plant to the site during rehabilitation construction. Trucks tip the BSM directly into the Vogler paver which is paved evenly at the full width of the lane being rehabilitated, making this a very time-efficient process. The paver is followed by a double smooth drum roller to compact the layer to the specified compaction percentage. Control testing is performed during construction using a nuclear density gauge and comparing density measurements to the maximum dry density of the material. The first layer is kept moist as it waits for the second layer to be placed on top. The moistness of the material will ensure sufficient binding to the second BSM layer. The second layer is placed on top and the paver is followed with a double smooth drum roller to once again compact the layer to the specified compaction percentage. This time the layer is finished off with a pneumatic tire roller and the layer is sprayed with a diluted emulsion to protect the surface. This ensures a smooth surface finish and well-bound particles, seeing as traffic will be driving on the BSM layer in just a couple of hours from now. After the BSM is finished, the lane is open to accommodate the morning peak traffic. After about four days of traffic, this section will receive its final hot mix asphalt layer. Before asphalt is placed, 20 mm of the BSM layer is milled off and cleaned for the placement of the asphalt. Asphalt is transported from the supplying hot mix asphalt plant and tipped directly into the Vogler paver. The paver places and pre-compacts the asphalt. Then it's followed by two smooth drum rollers and finally a pneumatic tire roller. This section is completed in a matter of hours and open to traffic the following morning. Minimal traffic disruptions and a brand new pavement for one of the highest volume roads in Cape Town, while recycling existing materials and sparing Mother Earth's natural resources.